SOLIDWORKS SIMULATION LECTURE 2 CANTILEVER BEAM Let's open the part file On XY plane, enter sketch mode and draw a square and put a dimension on it, 50 by 50 Then extrude into a meter long So this is the part that I need. I'll save the file. Make sure that you save the file. And for preparing step one, I'll add in the software, SOLIDWORKS simulation. And right click the mouse on toolbar area. And load the simulation toolbar. and I'll open a study. I'll accept the default name and default mode of study and click OK. So I'll finish the first step for implementing CA analysis. Step two is material. And I'll copy the steel file and paste on customize library here paste so I can change the properties here I'll change AISI 1020 mile steel into another name and also change the Young's modulus into 3 times 10 to the 11th and Poisson ratio of 0.3 so I apply the material here I have the material related to the parts. Step 3, mesh. I'll accept the default or I'll make it finer and click OK and mesh the part and I'll hide the mesh. For the boundary condition, I'll fix this end. Click OK and concentrated force on this area in the direction here change the direction downwards and the magnitude of the force 100 Newton so now I have already uh, finished the, with the preprocessor and fully defined the problem so I'll run the software and this is the result of, uh, of the problem and I'll choose displacement right click on the mouse and uh, I can probe the number here for example here and the number is 0.213 so it is correct but I also can uh, change into for example displacement on y direction and uh, change the number format into floating point with four digits on the decimal point so I can show the number here of 0.213 which is correct so this is the uh, second lecture that I want to give uh, to let you gain some confidence on the on the software because the answer is the same as a result of theoretical value from solid mechanics.